January 30th, 1992, Ralph Bays would ambush two law enforcement officers from the Powell County Sheriff's Department. Bays had an arrest warrant and knew that the police were on to him. He would wait in a bush next to his home and cut down the two officers in cold blood with an SKS style rifle. On this episode of Chasing Killers, we'll be exploring the life of Ralph Bays. Let's get into it. Ralph Stephen Bays Jr. was born on July 1st, 1955. Bays led a life of crime and prior to this incident had two previous felony convictions. At the time of this incident, he had an outstanding warrant in Ohio for felonious assault of a police officer, jumping bail, receiving stolen property, and flagrant non-support. One thing he wasn't, a law-abiding citizen. Ralph lived with his wife, Becky Bays, in a log cabin at the end of a gravel road on the side of a mountain in rural Powell County, Kentucky. Powell County is located in East Central Kentucky and has a population of just over 13,000. The area is known for its beauty with the Natural Bridge State Park drawing visitors from across the country. On January 15, 1992, the Lucas County Sheriff's Department in Toledo, Ohio, notified authorities in Kentucky that they have an arrest warrant for Bays and want him extradited back to Ohio to face justice. Police attempted to serve the warrant at his home shortly after that, but Ralph was not home and Becky informed the police that she did not know his whereabouts. This put Ralph on notice that law enforcement was looking for him. Ralph went to Michigan and purchased a rifle that he would ultimately use to murder the officers. He returned to Kentucky on January 28th with the intention of packing up and fleeing to Florida, but he wouldn't get the chance. On that fateful day in January, Sheriff Stephen Bennett and Deputy Sheriff Arthur Briscoe would attempt to serve the warrant, but Bays was able to escape out the back door into the woods and up the mountain. Bennett and Briscoe, who were related, would leave and gather additional backup. Unfortunately, they returned to Bays' home before they were able to get any more officers. Bays was waiting with his rifle behind a stump in the perfect firing position. A gunfight ensued and the two officers were killed. Bays had been hit in the leg when the bullets were flying. He would flee the scene, but would call the police at 8 p.m. that night and surrender due to needing medical attention for his leg. When questioned, he would say, I shot him in the back of the head. I understand I was killing the man. There is no doubt in my mind. Bays would be treated at Mary Child's Hospital in Mount Sterling and transported to Montgomery County Regional Jail on January 30th, 1992. Due to Bays likely not receiving a fair trial in Powell County, it was transferred to Rowan County, a few counties to the northeast. The criminal trial of Ralph Bays would take place from November 29th to December 20th, 1993. Bays would assert that the officers fired first and cited a self-defense claim. After three days of deliberation, they returned a guilty verdict. Following the penalty phase, he would be sentenced to death on February 4th, 1994. Before we move on to Bays' time behind bars, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any new content. Bays would be incarcerated on Kentucky death row at Kentucky State Penitentiary in Eddyville, Kentucky. Bays would appeal his death sentence, which would make it all the way to the United States Supreme Court. He was scheduled to be executed on September 25th, 2007. Just two weeks prior to his scheduled execution date, September 12th, 2007, a stay of execution was granted by the Kentucky Supreme Court. What a stroke of luck. In the case of Bays v. Reese, it was claimed that the drug combination used during the execution violated the Eighth Amendment, prohibiting cruel and unusual punishment. The drug combination in Kentucky was used in most states. In a 7-2 decision, they ruled that it was constitutional and the execution could proceed. He would file further appeals, but each would be denied. He continues to say that the courts have wronged him and he does not belong in prison. It comes back down to, you know, they, they have held me illegally, they convicted me illegally, and they're trying to murder me illegally. Due to Bays being sentenced to death prior to 1995, he can choose his method of execution, electric chair or lethal injection. He has not publicly stated his preferred choice. As of the publishing of this video, Bays remains on death row in Eddyville. He does not have a scheduled execution date. Kentucky, as with most states, is struggling to source the necessary drugs for the execution. In 2017, the sister of Deputy Briscoe said of the delayed execution, It's just too much and too long, and we're just over it. Time for Kentucky to do something for us and the taxpayers of Powell County. Of course we can't give up. If the family doesn't fight for Stephen Art, who's going to? This was another death row profile from Chasing Killers. Thanks for watching. See you next time.